Hi everyone, welcome to my craft room today. I hope everybody is really well. Um, I'm about to do the uh, Marguerite Miller CW Planner number 24. The props for this particular one, um, something you're grateful for. Um, I kind of found this a little difficult because although there are obviously things that I'm grateful for, it was actually hard finding an image to go with them. So what I ended up doing is combining one of the other prompts, which was your handwriting, and creating a little list of things that I am grateful for. And they're on a sticky note, so what I'm going to do is just stick that down. The next one is numbers, and I've got this... Um, it's from some scrapbooking paper um, of a tape measure and it's got numbers so I thought that would be good. A ticket. Um, a ticket. Now I do have, oh, here we go, I have these uh, vintage tickets. Um, there's three of those. I thought I'd go with the three. Uh, next one, handwriting, which was on my list. Something that can blow in the wind. Um, what I did was I had a look on the internet. In my head, I sort of went through the things that could blow in the wind and I thought, oh, I don't really know. I thought, I know, a kite. I've, I don't think I've ever used a kite. So I thought, okay, I went through um, the books that I normally use, nothing. So then I thought, okay, I'm going to have to use the internet. So what I did was I googled um, kite or vintage images kite, something like that, and I came up with these. So I've printed these off and made them sort of into little cards. And uh, the next one is, oh, bonus is the map, and I've got this, um, it's a tourist map of um, place in Victoria where I live, uh, where I went not long ago for just a, a weekend away. So I've got that, so I'm going to tear that up. And the other thing I've just got that I've really wanted to include was one of these little bows that I got recently with a happy mail from Brenda. So thank you again, Brenda. Okay, so let's have a look here. I'm going to start with the map because obviously this is the biggest uh, thing. And um, because I want the actual map, I'm just going to tear with my um, hacksaw blade. Um, now just missed a bit there so I'll just chop that off okay now I don't want the whole thing obviously um, thinking maybe up to about there sort of almost the width of the page but not quite okay now let's get rid of that um, Actually, every time I say I'm just going to get rid of it, I pile it on my table and my sewing machine's buried. The rest of this table is a disgrace. Um, I need to spend some time actually tidying up. It's getting to the point where you can't walk in here again. Um, there's like a thin walkway past my desk where I do my work and um, into this craft area, which is really full, really full. Okay, I'm thinking that's probably big enough. It covers most of the page. Okay, so that's there. Now, the next thing, I've got these numbers. Um, could go that way. I don't know. Well, let's have a play. We'll see how it goes. I kind of like that. Um... Now I've got the images. So the colouring at least is um, similar. No, that's not going to work. I might have to move it this way a bit. Let's see, I might tuck that up the top. I really like this one. It's really, really nice and sweet. It reminds me of an image from a John and Betty book um, that were around when I was at school, but I think I they'd gone sort of... They weren't the reading of the time when I was at school. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, I don't think I've changed it much. Um, 
me that one right over the top. Okay, don't mind that. Now I still have my list, which maybe I could tuck under there, like so. No, that's not going to fit. Okay, what if I move the whole thing over a bit? Uh, maybe. Mm, I might actually have to trim this a little bit more. Didn't really want to do that. course what I could do is actually yeah that's what I might do I might actually chop that and somehow put it there now the tickets don't have to use all of these of course um, maybe just tuck those around like so over here something like that and what I might do to finish it all off and sort of join it together a little bit is use my poor grungy looking um, text stamp okay I'm happy with that so I'm going to distress the edges um, I have a really horrible feeling I'm not going to remember this what I might do is just grab my phone and take a picture of it so that I oops so that I um come on doesn't like me using my finger okay so where am I there we go okay that way I will remember hopefully what it looks like oops sorry just Okay. All right, now let's see. Start distressing the edges. At the time I'm film, filming this, and it probably, I usually film a little bit, about a week ahead, um, so that I actually have time to edit during the week and upload. But at the time I'm doing this, we are in Victoria, we have gone into a seven day lockdown again I think this is our fourth so really a little frustrating <laughs> um, I'm so grateful though that it's this week and it wasn't last weekend because last weekend was the craft show that I've been waiting for for well 12 months <laughs> because we were in lockdown the last time uh, the craft show would have been going on so ever so grateful that um, it wasn't last weekend but very frustrating I think we've only got maybe 20 cases something like that and um, they call it a circuit breaker and obviously the whole point is to stop people going out and reducing the infection rate um, but for us um, it, it is really frustrating you know it's a quite severe there's five kilometer radius so you can't go you can't go any more than five kilometers now my favorite supermarket is seven kilometers my post office box is probably will be definitely over the five kilometers um, you know it, I mean it has to be sort of an emergency situation or you know you can't you've got food vaccinations testing um, I think well-being visits so obviously if I had to um, you know visit my parents or something like that and there is one other reason but I can't think what oh medical maybe um, but you know you, you're sort of stuck and it's really only five cases or 20 cases and they are in um, the other side of the city mostly for me I think there was only one air, one closer um, place so it, it really is frustrating because the whole of Victoria is in lockdown and I mean the people in the country areas it must be really frustrating for them because 
there's no one you know there's no cases out there so it's it's sort of oh. and what it's doing to our economy and jobs for people it's just crazy I mean I'm lucky I can work from home um, which in some ways is nice and my glue's not working um, in some ways is really nice because you know you don't have to drive to work and you've got the comfort of your own home and so forth but we were still kind of catching up from the last lockdowns and this is not working today so you know it is a little frustrating cynically you can think that well it's to force people into getting vaccinations because here let's face it we we don't have many cases so there's not that urgent need I guess now I just need to have a look at my phone there's not that urgent need to um, get a vaccination really so some people would argue that maybe that's it's a whole cynical thing of making us get the vaccinations but um, and I, I have to be honest I'm reluctant to for the moment I am allergic to a flu vaccination so to have the, um, the vaccinations for coronavirus or COVID is, is really a little nerve-wracking for me it's not the actual needle or anything like that that's no big deal but you know I, I don't want to get sick <laughs> because I had to have a vaccination I don't know but it is a little frustrating okay now I miss this this is this um, sticky note the whole back is sticky <laughs> um, so it's they're good they stick better i guess than the the normal sort of sticky note but on the same token they're also a little hard to um use now i hadn't quite figured out what to do with this one had i maybe if i just pop it like that uh, i don't know whether i like it that way or whether i should put it that way i haven't got room for it that way though no nope, it's going to have to go this way can't do that because it covers that bit okay what about if I take that out from there pop this here and just gonna have to cover yeah I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that all right where's my glue mm. now I'm only half gluing things at the moment until I get them in position I think that was a little bit further over if I pop that up there instead this one still so maybe we can pop that like so yep I think I like that too so yeah it's a bit we're a bit um we're sort of stuck at the moment and we were really just getting back to normal um and I know we're really fortunate here in Australia I understand that I get that and I am grateful for the fact that's where I live here because we we haven't had the you know as many issues as we have all over those other places but I guess it's what you're used to too isn't it um, okay now I'll just go around the page I do wonder if um, we will ever get back to what we used to traveling wherever we want and things like that 
I think um, even with the vaccinations, I know some people think that the vaccinations is going to be a cure or it's going to fix everything. I don't know though. I think um, our world's changing and you know there are going to be more of these mystery viruses going around. Okay, I'm happy with that. It's very, uh, what's the word, pastel -y. <laughs> But I think it looks kind of cute. I like the images. There we go. And as usual, I will put a picture at the end of the video. So thank you very much for joining me, putting up with my ramble, my little slight whinging. Um, and I really hope that things are looking up. Oh, no, haven't finished. I really hope that things are looking up for you, wherever you are in the world. Oh, no, don't drop it. No. Okay, I'm going to mm, pop that. Maybe there. Yes, I'm going to put it right there. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so that's my page number 23 no 4 24 sorry so i've got something thankful for yes numbers yes ticket yes handwriting yes something that can blow in the wind yes and bonus map great all right thank you once again for joining me and i'll see you again soon bye for now